Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sean. And today I want to show you guys how to make holes through wood. Especially if you're making like earrings or a hole for a pendant or what some of the sort or whatever. So, um, I used to use a drill. I used to use a nail. Um, but the bad experience with the drill it leaves the dust all over the place and I just could not handle that, honey. You know, my allergies are like off the chain. So then... Um, I tried a nail, you know, you just tap it through to make a little hole there, and it just tore the whole top piece off, and I was like, oh my goodness, and I can't just keep going on with this. So, you know, one day I was out, and I was just, um, experimenting. So, you know, I used my solder now one day, and just burnt through a piece of wood to see, you know, what would happen, and it made a perfect hole. Do you hear me? A perfect hole. Okay. So I didn't have any dust. Um, the wood was still in perfect condition. Um, I didn't break it or anything like that. So it just worked out for the best for me. All right. So mainly what you're going to do, you're going to heat up your soldering iron if you have one. Now, I mean, they're very inexpensive. Um, I think I actually got this one from the thrift store for maybe like $3 or whatever, but three dollars or less but I think you can get one for maybe like $9.99 something like that so they're very inexpensive okay so what you're gonna do you're gonna heat up your iron oh but before you do that make sure you get a block or something to put underneath like right now I'm working on my table and I don't want to damage my table so I put a two by four piece of wood here and I'm gonna place the piece that I want to burn the hole through on top of that okay so here we go. So we're going to take the um, hot soldering iron and we're going to press down in the center to where you want the hole to be. You just press, press, press. And try not to go all the way through because the further you go down, the wider the hole will be unless you want your hole to be wider. So then we turn it over to the other side and we do it again. Alright. So then now... You want to kind of just like wiggle it around a little bit to make sure it's even on both sides like so. Alright, you see that? Okay. Um, you don't have to worry about the burning of the wood. Um, you know, it's darkening or whatever because once you paint over it, you know, um, that will go away. Okay. And the scent as well. Um, it'll be covered by the paint, so... So we're going to do this side, burn the hole all the way through, and then turn it over, and then burn it through again. And there you have it. Your perfect hole, dust free, um, undamaged um, piece of wood with the perfect hole in it. For your junk ring, and you can make some fabulous earrings from this or a pendant, like I said. So, that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys subscribe. You know, give me that thumbs up. Leave your comments below. And, um, you guys be good. So, I'll see you in the next video.